Hey drummers, how you doing? I'm Gary Lee. Today we're going to be looking at Logic's drum replacement tool. So I've got a live drum kit that I've recorded in my studio. I've got eight mics, kick, snare, overhead right, overhead left, rack, floor, sub kick and room. So let's have a quick listen. Pretty good sound, I think. All I've done is added a bit of EQ and compression on every track. Just a little bit of panning, but yeah, it's pretty raw other than that. So what we're gonna do today is double up the kick and double up the snare with MIDI samples that are built into Logic. So the first stage is select a kick track, press Control D, that'll bring up your drum replacement doubling tool. And then you wanna select kick, because we're working on the kick first. And we want to double it rather than replace it, because if you replace it, it takes away your actual kick drum and you just left with the MIDI, but we don't want to do that right now. And then it gives you all these options. It gives you all these 31 kick drums to choose from. Yeah, I think that's added a nice little bit of punch. We'll stick with that one for now. Next up, let's do the snare. Again, select the snare track, press Control D, and this time you want to choose snare drum on your instrument. Good thing to do is to zoom in so you can check that it's got the transients right. As you can see, there's a little four note fill here and you've got the four notes there. Yep, I think it's done a pretty good job on that one. Sometimes it can pick up transients from the kick bleed or the, the tom tom bleed and all that. All right, so that looks good. And again, you've got 30, you've got 33 snare drums to choose from. Let's have a quick little listen to that. You can hear that one's added quite a little bit of ring. Don't like it. That one's too electronic. I'm looking for something a bit. To add a bit of punch. Yeah, I quite like that one, just for this example. So now you can see we've doubled up the kick and the snare. That was simple, wasn't it? So that's the MIDI version of what we played. Kick and the snare, let's add in the real kick and the snare. You know, very subtle, but definitely adds a little something, something. Why don't we just replace the tom while we're here as well? We haven't replaced anything. So what have we got here? Right, so we've got a few tom hits, they're quite weak really. Let's replace them, shall we? Right, again, select the track, Control D. 
This time we're gonna to wanna to press Tom. This time we'll press for placement. And it gives you all the different Tom sizes. So you've got a 10, a 12, 13, 14, 16. So this is a floor Tom. So we'll go with a 16. We'll have a listen through the 16 ones. You might wonder why I'm not listening to the drums individually when I'm selecting a new tom, because I don't really do that. I like to hear what it sounds like in the mix, because it's kind of pointless. You could get a great sound on your floor tom, but then you put it back in with the rest of the drums and it just sounds weird. So it's kind of cool to listen to it all at once, because that's you know what you're going to get then. We'll go with that one. So this is the original Tom. This is the replacement. It's got a lot more punch to it. Let's try them both together. If I can, I'll always just double it rather than getting rid of the drum because it does add something. So we'll keep both of those. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty good. All right, I hope that was a, a good introduction to drum replacement and doubling for you. I'll be doing lots more of these type videos, so if you liked that, if you found it interesting, please subscribe and there'll be more on the way. What I'll do now is I'll leave you with the drum track so you can listen to it all the way through. Alright, see you next time. Cheers.